I am Robert Granitsky and I work as a creative director and motion graphics designer. I've been using the Genart Sapphire plugins for almost a decade and they are truly one of my favorite add-ons to After Effects. I use them in almost every motion graphics project where I'm involved. Sapphire Blur Motion is great for organic looking effects and Sapphire Glow is also fantastic for more natural looking glows. My favorites though are Sapphire Warp Chroma to add some subtle chromatic aberrations that make super clean 3D renders look perfectly imperfect. Sapphire Vignette is also used very often as it allows for very quick and easy vignetting of shots. My name is John Dickinson and I've been using Sapphire for After Effects now for about four years and it's become an indispensable tool in my motion graphics toolkit. As a broadcast designer my job is to come up with fresh new type looks and Sapphire does a lot of the heavy lifting in this area. It gives me plenty of options to allow me to create new and unique looks quickly and easily. In this example I've used Sapphire Edge Blur to create a flickering neon look. Background creation is also a common task for me and Sapphire's wide variety of effects and parameters gives me the creative freedom to design unique looks. In this example I've used Sapphire Blur Motion, Distort, Warp Polar and Texture Flux to create this futuristic wormhole. My work in broadcast also involves 3D and effects such as Sapphire Z Blur give me the flexibility to experiment